Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Let's jump straight into the brow. So I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in Dark Brown. First I just brush up all of my hairs and then I just begin to stroke lines wherever I see fit, wherever there's any gaps. I don't really draw them on in straight solid lines anymore like I used to. Like I used to do a line straight underneath all the hairs across the bottom and then the top but now I think that looks too full and not natural enough even though they still don't look natural it's just you know what I mean they look less not natural <laughs> um, and then as you saw I put the P. Louise base down and then I am taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Modern Renaissance palette as you can see this is a must-have I mean look at it and I'm t firstly taking the Venetian Red Shade and I'm using my Sigma E25 brush. I begin to always pat shades, especially these darker shades, at the lash line first and then build my way up. Just to make sure that you never ever put too much in the crease that you can't take back. So yeah, always start by putting the bulk of the shade that you've picked up lower down and then work your way up. Then I'm just blending this into the crease and then I'm sort of carving out the shape of the winged liner which I will do in a second um, because I'm creating this sort of cat eye shaped eyeshadow look. Now I'm just taking the burnt orange shade, you can tell I love this shade, on the Sigma E36 brush. You know I love this brush and say everybody needs it. It is basically a really small blending brush and it just allows you to create um, really controlled lines or blends and like you get a good blend out of it. So I'm just putting this burnt orange shade because I didn't want to bring the ready tones up too high and look like I'd been punched. Then I'm grabbing the golden ochre on this really fluffy blending brush from Zoeva and I'm just using this brush and this really light shade to seamlessly blend out the eyeshadow towards the brow um, to make sure that the burnt orange shade is blended to perfection and it's just a great colour. Now I'm grabbing, grabbing red ochre which is the darkest sort of all over lid shade I'm going to do on the Sigma E25 brush and I'm just putting this all over the lid and now because we had laid all these shades before it particularly the uh, crease blend ones this will blend in seamlessly and you don't have to stress so much about putting a dark shade everywhere because it will just effortlessly blend into what we've already laid down now I'm taking this cypress umber shade on the Sigma E36 again and I am just making this into a winged liner but with eyeshadow and I'm doing this just to lay down a really smoky foundation for then the next black liner that I add which is this galaxy um, liquid eyeshadow from the Bronx and it has this silver shimmer in it which I really loved so as you can see I'm just sort of patting it and swiping it down that was the technique I found really brought out the shimmer in it as well and it just didn't look streaky at all so putting this everywhere and I really really like the silver against the warm tone so yeah I was really happy with how this turned out and I just love all the liquid eyeshadows from the Bronx they're just a great idea now I am just putting down the Venetian red shade everywhere then going into burnt orange to blend that out and then I will add cypress umber into the outer corner to just put the darker shade there to blend it into the liner so that there's no like black liner and then my under eye I want them to look like they're together then I'm taking tempera I think it is this is such a beautiful off-white slightly pink nude shade that oh my god it's just perfect so yeah I love that as you can see it just looks so pretty and it has maybe the slightest satin sheen to it as well it's just perfect for inner corner and brow bone without you know going shimmer it just cleans it up so nicely 
Now taking that liquid eyeshadow, putting it on the lower lash line, that's another great thing about liquid eyeshadows, is you can put them everywhere because they're eye safe and often they're really strong so they hang on to the lower lash line really well. And I really liked how putting this black and silver glitter on the lower lash line as well looked. So yeah, now I'm taking my Livia lashes in the style Kim, of course. You know I love them, they're my favourite, and that is the look done. I hope you guys learnt something from this and really enjoyed it. I love how this look came out. I love how it's red, but it's so controlled that, you know, it doesn't look too red or that you've been bruised. So yeah, thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.